Hello everyone. Now I got my nose pierced around two weeks ago and I did upload a video sort of the experience showing it actually being pierced as well and sort of giving it a how to pain, aftercare, all that sort of stuff. And I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it already and I do have a piercing playlist as well where I literally talk about all my piercings, show you the experiences and I'm just brutally honest. So I've had my nose pierced two weeks now, just over and there's a lot of stuff that I wish I knew before. So before I got my nose pierced, I probably did what you guys are doing now and looking into experiences, pain, aftercare, everything like that. But I didn't actually search for, you know, stuff that you aren't told about nose piercing. And that's what I'm gonna put out with you today. And I'm only gonna go over a few of the main bits. I've got more written down on my phone because I will forget and I wanna make sure I tell you guys everything that I found out so far. And I will do a update at a month, six months, a year, like I usually do. And actually when I come to change this little stud into a ring, you probably can't even see it, it's so small. And that's what I wanted for the beginning. Number one. So the one thing I wanted to tell you guys first is that it doesn't hurt as much as you expect it to. Now, don't get me wrong, when I was in the piercing shop, when I was researching, I was like, it's gonna hurt. There's a needle going into my nose, it's so close to my eyes, it's on my face, it's gonna hurt. But it didn't. And it's over so, so quick. And even like after, it doesn't hurt. It might ache a tiny amount if you catch it, but it, like, it's so weird. With my other like ear piercings, my nipple piercing, it all hurt afterwards, not a lot, but you can feel it, but it would just felt tender. So just bear that in mind. It doesn't hurt as much as you think it's gonna hurt. Number two, now you are gonna catch this, whether you're, you know, wiping your face, getting out the shower, taking your glasses off, which I probably have done four or five times now, when I, took, I was looking down, took my glasses down and hooked it, and it comes out. And it hurts a little bit when you do that. I'm not going to recommend doing it. But you will probably, within the first week getting it done, pull it out like 10 times. I did. And it just hooks out a little bit. And then you just have to pop it back gently, obviously. Um, but that will happen. And just be prepared for it. I wasn't prepared. So the first night I took my makeup off, I was obviously going around here. It hooked. And it came out. And I was just like... But it's fine, pop it back in. And as long as you don't knock it too much, you probably won't even get a, like a little bump on it either. Number three, it will move around. And you, it will feel weird at some points, especially when it like twists. I can literally feel it going down the inside of my nose and you feel like you've got a runny nose. And it's such a weird feeling. And that will happen, it will feel weird until you get used to it. And then you're like, oh, it's just spinning around. But literally, you can feel it move. And that is probably the weirdest feeling. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I'm always like, I forgot a nosebleed. And some people do get nosebleeds if they catch the, um, like my sister did. She knocked it. It used to push into the side of her nose. And she kept getting like little nosebleeds. I haven't had that. I haven't known a lot of people that have it. But she has. Number four. People will suddenly care about your nose. They will ask you about it they will tell you whether they like it or not and you're like you never cared about my nose before they didn't even look at my nose probably but now i have a like a stud in it it's all the time and people will suddenly care about your nose and that's just i think something that comes with the piercing number five bogeys i never thought i would talk about bogeys on my channel but it is so relevant for this piercing because obviously it's in your nose and that's where bogeys come from and they will build up behind your bar. So towards the top, you will feel it. It will start to feel a bit blocked and then you obviously have to get those bogeys out. And I'm not even joking, they are like super bogeys. I don't know if it's like where the mucus, if that's even what's in your nose and obviously there's a hole in it so it's trying to heal and I don't know if it produces more bogeys. I don't know how bogeys work but they will build up and they will be like super bogeys. So just be prepared to address that situation because I have heard horror stories where if people don't clean it out, it will fall out. And you don't want a bogey situation while you're in a work meeting or your friends or filming a video. You don't want that. So make sure you look after your bogey situation. Number six, you might not get a bump on your nose. Now, loads and loads of people worry about having 
the bumps they're not the prettiest thing and you don't obviously want it on your face you may not even get it if you look after your piercings and you don't hit your piercings and you don't knock it substantially you can have a successful healing process without those bumps so don't let it stop you I am at two weeks and I have no indication of having those bumps yet. I've just been keeping up my cleaning routine and it is healing so nicely. Number seven. Now, you will have to learn how to blow your nose differently because you cannot push onto the stud really hard without it hurting, especially during the healing stage. Obviously, I'm not at the healed stage yet, but... The other day, I wasn't able to even, like, close my nose for the smell. Like, it feels Ted to do with this. So you just have to be very careful when it comes to blowing nose, holding your nose closed. Oh, that felt weird. And now I've moved the bar. It's tingling. So, oh, this is a prime example of what happens. So you have to be very careful with that. If any of you guys have your nose pierced, if you can leave me a comment down below if it does get easier to blow your nose or to like hold your nose closed, that would be great and informative for me and other people that watch this video and read the comments. Number eight, it is better to get your nose pierced with a stud. Now, loads of people want the ring straight away, but it is actually better for it to heal with a stud and then you add the nose ring later on. Now, I don't really know why. It's something to do with how the ring goes in and the swelling and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't even get offered a ring, but when I did ask, he said, you know, it's gonna have to be super big to allow for the swelling. So I was like, no, thank you. I don't, I didn't want a massive one. I want a tight ring when it comes to changing. So that's just something to consider as well if you do want to go straight into the ring. Number nine, you will touch your nose a hell of a lot more than you did before. I must spend half my day doing this or, you know, making sure it's actually there because I can't feel it. Or if the bar, you know, swivels down, I just push it back up and I must spend half my day touching my nose. When I edit my videos now, I realise how much I touch my nose. So even if it's just like this or, you know, actually fiddling with the jewellery, I touch my nose a lot more. So be prepared for people to think that you're picking your nose. Number 10. It will change you as a person whether you believe that or not or whether you experienced it it changed me so i had you know a lot of i used to listen to a lot of people what they said they were always like don't pierce your face you know we know you like piercing your other bits of your body you can do that but don't pierce your face and doing this i was just like do you know what i can do whatever the hell i want and it just changed who i was it, it sounds so ridiculous but it, it happens and I love my nose piercing now. I was so afraid, but I don't know if that's because for so long I was told, don't pierce your face. Don't pierce it. You know, it'll affect job prospects. It'll affect this, it'll affect that. Well, my job is fine with my current 21 piercings. So as my boss said, what's one more? Exactly, what is one more? Because it's me. And I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if there is any that I've missed that you found that I haven't come across yet. Like I said, I'm two weeks post having it done, so I'm still very new to the nose piercing realm, I guess. Um, it'll be good to hear your experiences. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like. You turn the bell notifications on because I'm uploading a lot more now. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.